Hello, Libra. It's a Oh My God Tarot, and this is your someone secretly stalking you tarot card reading. Let's look, Libra. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know who's stalking you. Libra, I'm going to be real. Some of you guys like being stalked. I know your secret. I know your dirty little secret. But I'm, I won't tell anyone. I'm going to pull your first card and figure out kind of like what's their vibe. And then we'll do a tarot spread. You know the deal. Libra, you're pre Oh, snap! They're giving that fiery energy. They're giving the four of wands. They're giving that, hey, I'm your twin flame. Hey, I'm your soulmate. Hey, let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type vibe. I like it because it's all, it's, it's, it's like water. It's like a watery fire, fire card. Because there's excitement, there's joy, there's celebration, and then there's also stability in the excitement. Like it's consistent. And it's like a happy home, it's a happy household, and it's happy like it's like finishing a race and going home to something that's joyful and, and your the fruits of your accomplishment with somebody. And sometimes that's not just like, oh I worked hard and I made money. It's like the emotional labor that we went through and we're here now and we're celebrating, we're joyful. So it's about being through things with people and coming to a place where you just truly appreciate them. And that's the vibe they're on. And that's it's kinda not oh, Now we have the death card. Hey, we got the death card. And the death card represents, first of all, the death card is associated with Scorpio. And Scorpios feel things so deeply, deep as a soulmate twin flame, twin flame connection, right? Right? That's what I was thinking. We have the death card and rebirth. So we have to consider all things that are coming to an end. And sometimes to make way for those things that we're meant to be, we have to lose a couple of things that we think we need. And the death and the rebirth relative to that Scorpio energy is spiritual. At least you don't have to know it's just some mess. It's, it's something that needs to happen to replenish. It's when we need that forest fire to get a new clear land, which, oh, forest fire, kind of violent. Kind of a bit much. Kind of, because, you know, you're not going to try to see somebody chop down a bunch of trees. People are like, that's not good for the environment. And people will be like, but a natural, naturally occurring forest fire or like some sort of flooding or whatever that gets rid of all the coniferous forests that's like the earth finding rebalance on its own it's like oh we don't need this we're cutting this down like we're good so and on that note then it's like hey we're creating something new you just don't know what the plan is yet and that's what you got to take the death and rebirth energy like i feel like you know especially next to the four of wands i feel like it's like it's a testament to the end of a relationship and the beginning of a relationship. So it almost makes you feel like it, it just kind of revalidates the twin flame stuff where you know how it goes with, with the twin flames. Like sometimes they're your worst nightmare. Break your heart so bad, they go away for 25 years and they come back and they're like, oh, hey. and you're like, oh, wow, I thought I'd be angry at you. It feels kind of like indifference. You know, I don't too much mind that you're here because you're my twin flame and I, I'm forgiving you for things that I never thought I'd forgive because I just I'm going with the with the vibe. At the same time, knew this was gonna happen somehow. So then we have oh the two of swords, indecision, gone wrong. So we already know here there's like this depth to this person that's almost scary. The two of swords represents indecision. We know this. This card is in reverse, so we know the indecision is meant to kind of keep you stagnant. So let's please let's please if you're gonna allow somebody to come back they got to be on some definitive ish you know they can't come back and just be kind of wishy-washy and kind of be there in limbo they got to come back and be very clear and direct on what they're coming back for so it feels like yeah you're stalking but it feels like you might be coming back from the dead to play some more games just because you know how strong this connection is or how strong you feel this connection is to them so let's look let's look let's look, let's look. what is your intentions what is your intention? What are you trying to do with my, my dear uh, Librans? Stop. Ah. Ah. Okay, so here we go. My dear Librans. Okay, so you have a lot of like, what, janky energy? Janky energy upping up the, the, the vibe? But that's okay, that's a minor thing. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which represents focusing as opposed to obsessing, trying to stay stable, trying to stick to, trying to stick to a routine. Um, so yeah, it's keeping your nose to the grindstone essentially. So the pentacles 
to start, it's it's almost giving like you've lost focus. You've, you've lost the, maybe you've fallen off your routine a little bit. That could be fitness. That could be, hey, I called in sick a couple times from work over this. Let's not do that. Let's stay stable. Let's recalibrate and stay stable. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. This is a reason to celebrate, typically. And you have two cards. Look at these circular vibes going around with the celebration and the, the, the in front of you uh, energy of joyful expression, not just by you, but other people rooting for you. So it just feels like um, somebody coming. They're looking at how well you're doing. And part of you guys feel like yeah, maybe you're being watched, but you're being rooted for. Um, I feel like there's a three of wands and a three of cups representing something else being out there and you wanting to explore. I feel like death and rebirth, some of you guys may be even experiencing the death and rebirth or the death of your twin flame, conne twin flame connection. Some of you might be on the runner chapter of that twin flame connection where your person has gone and you're kind of open to new experiences or at least feel like you should be. Um, and you should be celebrating going out with friends and connecting with people, making new connections. Um, I, yeah, so that might be a thing that you guys need to really just focus on because it's here. Um, that your person stalking you is maybe, maybe, maybe they're watching what you're doing, but at the same time, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Maybe it doesn't matter because you should be indifferent of whether or not this person is watching you. Because you need to stay focused on what needs to get done. Your routine, your responsibility is 100%, especially if you've been falling off of that because of how you feel. Then we need to, you need to know that people are rooting for you and they want you to see well, so there are stakes that you need to kind of live up to. Not because you the pressure of you having to because of what other people want, but it's like, no, I'll use that as motivation. These people are counting on me. They're rooting on me. They're rooting for me, so let me stay in the game. Okay, and then we have the Three of Wands, and it shows you that you're just kind of unsatisfied and feeling like there's something else out there. Or maybe some of you have a hunch that this person's stalking you, and you're feeling like, hey, I know you're out there somewhere, watching, waiting, probably rooting for you. Um, and going out with your friends, going out with people, connecting with new people seems to be beneficial in this context, as well as the drama, the gossip. Maybe that's what excites you, drama and gossip and tea. I feel like maybe you'll connect with those people that love reality TV. Why not? Because you're wondering what's out there. You don't even know what it is you're wanting to feel love for and with or rebirth for. You're not sure. All this indecision. Two of two of swords. Yeah. Some of you want to be happy. Some of you want to celebrate and go on out there and explore and travel and put your energy into stuff. Go meet, make better connections, friendships and go have fun and do crazy stuff and, and fun stuff that gets talked about and just live, damn it. Some of you, that's, that's the type of energy you're on that you wanna embrace right now. But I feel like there's just like, it might be a late in life type of, I wanna have my like 304 phase, but sure. But Hazel, you're 48, you should've done that in college. You know, it's probably one of those where I just wanna go out and have fun. Not, doesn't have to be a 304 phase, okay? Just being extra. But, you know, some of you guys want to go out there and have fun, but you've been focusing on work so much. Maybe you want to focus on work and go out with people after work. Maybe that's why that Eight of Pentacles is there. Maybe you connect with your twin flame energy. You know, the running one gets back to the reunion at the right time, at the divine time. And maybe there is some sort of grace with that. Because there's death and rebirth is why I keep thinking that, you know, if it's ending, it's coming back. If there's a cycle, it's looping back. We have the affinity loop, we see a cycle. We know it's going to rotate right right on back. So some of you, you know, you're, you're out here for some fun. You're out here for some fun and I guess spiritually or energetically attracting your twin flame. You know, sometimes that happens. You're like, oh, I just wanted a one night stand. And then, and then, I, then they never left. And then we've been married for 17 years. Right? Page of Swords. See, you always want to feel kind of some type of way when you see the Page of Swords because you're like, oh, drama, gossip, and immaturity. But it's a tell of the reading. It might be fun. Especially with your friends. Three of Cups represents your friendships, reconciliations, and connecting with people. Especially at, like, parties and stuff. That's fun stuff. That's fun stuff. And this is, what's out there? Well, there's fun stuff to the left and the right of you. So we're going to go out there and have a good time. And that's what you guys need to be doing because there's people looking at you and they're stalking you and they're watching you and they're being like, oh, I wonder what, I want to know more about that. And you're all mysterious and whatnot. So 
they need to figure out what your temperature is and you need to let go of whatever it is you expected your connection to be with this twin 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 flames connection who's probably all out here in these streets um you know there's nothing you can do that they won't come back to so you might as well go have fun which is what the you know stalking indicated so hey all right so there it is that is your reading i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel leave a comment share the video and and yeah thank you for watching i appreciate that check out my etsy shop um i sell scented soy candles and fragrance oils so have a look at that and i will see you in the next one ciao ciao